So a question I get asked a lot is, what is that radio in the background? Well, that radio is my 1952 Ferranti 125. Let's take a look at it. So I've had this radio probably since the late 80s or early 90s. I spent quite a few years of my childhood living in England and I loved it there and I actually got into vintage electronics over there and it's something that's stuck with me ever since. I remember seeing this in an antique shop in East Anglia and my parents were kind enough to buy it for me and I've actually had it ever since. Uh, it is a 240 volt unit uh, so I do have a step up power transformer that I use to run it but uh, it actually does still work just fine uh, and some of the cool things about it uh, this is a, a, a tri-band radio uh, it does have long wave medium wave which is your standard AM band and it does also do short wave so anywhere from the 16 meter band all the way up to the 49 meter band uh, it is a tube style radio uh, it actually has a really rich sound for the size of it and it was built in 1952 by the Ferranti company and uh, these are actually pretty common over in England and this is similar to the radios that, that would have been used in the 1950s even in the United States but let's take a look at some of the kind of the neat features that I that I find intriguing on this so one of the things that really caught my eye when I saw this radio originally was the fact that besides having the normal frequency markings along the dial it also shows the cities where the uh, stations are broadcast from so you could tune them in real easily by just tuning in if you wanted to listen to uh, the West Midland station you could do that or Brussels Scottish Radio, Rome, Paris, Lisbon Marseille. So I always thought that that was that was a neat feature, and and as a kid living over there, I could actually tune those in, and I thought it was really really cool. Uh, you also have some of the others on the long wave that used to broadcast. I'm not sure if they do anymore in Strasbourg, uh, Reykjavik, Iceland, Moscow, Russia, Oslo, Norway, Czechoslovakia. Uh, just really really neat and. Uh, you know the fact that this thing still works after all this time too is is quite fascinating to me but uh, let's spin it around and take a look inside and see what makes this thing tick so on the inside it's a pretty typical 1950s radio it is a uh, five tube or five valve model depending on where you're from uh, I even still have the original bayonet style uh, British light bulb in there 240 volts uh, that I had when uh, when I got it back in the late 80s and it still works but we'll get in a little bit closer just kind of check everything out for those who enjoy this type of thing we'll get some close-ups of the different tubes and functions in here it is a super heterodyne style receiver in this so pretty fancy at the time so there's your five tubes or valves as they're called the tuner assembly, got the power supply, transformer, the light bulb for the back of the dial, and then uh, the single speaker. Obviously, it's a mono unit. This is before stereo radio came along, but it is kind of neat. It is, I guess, what you could call multi voltage. It does have the option to go between 200 and about 250 volts. Uh, which uh, I've got it set at 240 since we lived in England and my step-up power converter is a 240 volt model but uh, it does have uh, external aerial or antenna inputs on the back so just just kind of a basic radio thought it'd be kind of neat to take a look at since people have been asking what it is all right so there it is my 1952 Ferranti 125 radio so you guys have asked, ask and you shall receive. Hope you enjoyed the quick video 
and we'll see you guys next time on the Vintage Electronics channel.